All right, so we've got our circuit board blank here, and this thing looks really neat, really cool. But it doesn't quite go all the way down to the brass, so we're just going to clean that up real quick on our disc sander. Okay, so we've got our circuit board blank checked up on here. Now, this is polyester resin, so it's different than the Alumilite that I normally turn. It's a lot more chippy. Um, you do have to watch and make sure the speed that you're turning it at is appropriate. Um, make sure that you have a good sharp tool, and I've got a brand new edge on my Easy Wood tools today. And so, it can chip out. So take it slow, real nice, easy passes, and that you're turning at full speed in order to, to help mitigate some of that chip out. So I'm turning my lathe up to 3700 RPM here and we'll get this going. completely round it is a little bit chippy but it's not bad the very the first couple of passes with those corners definitely were interesting but now that it's mostly round it turns fairly smooth it is grabby though you can definitely feel it pull your tool in on you a little bit so do watch out for that but you know it's not bad definitely has a distinct smell I'll tell you turn polyester resin has a very distinct smell that as soon as you cut into it, you know what you're turning. down to the bushings on both sides so we're gonna go ahead and get this polished up and get it ready to go all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this polished up here got a drop cloth down to, in order to protect my my lathe bed so I turn the speed down on my lathe we're gonna go put it down to 1250 I haven't ever polished up polyester resin before in this way so I'm going to run it a little slower and just take it easy. I don't know how fast it's going to um, buff away, but we'll just see. So it actually seems to buff up faster than Alumilite does because that took a really fast polish so well, at least with the sanding paper I do have a spot right there I need to work on a little bit more a little bit of a hump and uh, yeah we'll get this polished up it's looking good yeah it's feeling pretty good now I'll just go through my polishing pads, do the same thing, 1500 through 12,000. I won't make you guys watch that, uh, but well, I'll show you once it's all done what it looks like. That has got to be about the highest grade polish I think I've ever accomplished with just polishing pads alone. I haven't hit this with any sort of liquid polish or anything, and this thing is just beautiful. I think I might have to explore polyester resin a little more in the future. 
because this thing is it's just neat. That polyester resin polished up easier than Alumalite does and a little quicker. It just seemed like it just, just came off fast. Now, as for turning it, I didn't much prefer it. But uh, polishing it up, this is this is beautiful. I made this just with a touch of scratch free real quick uh, just to get out a couple of the little buff marks that are there and then uh, this thing will be ready to be assembled. Wow, that's pretty. All right, let's go get this put together. All right, so let's get this Sierra kit put together for this circuit board blank. Now, this circuit board does have a seam on it, actually. It's right there. Hopefully you can see that. So we just simply take our clip, put it over top of that seam. Now there are letterings on circuit boards and so I want the letterings to look so that if I'm holding it with my right hand I can actually read the letters. That makes it more interesting I think. Simply press that part in. Let me get my spacer back on there. There we go. And now we can quickly assemble this part. Put our spring on so the smaller end is down there. It holds the spring in place. Drop it down front. Thread in the mechanism. Press that in place. And it's done. That is a neat pen really happy with how that turned out that polyester resin that the circuit boards are encased in takes a beautiful polish it's crystal clear you can hardly tell that it is resin over top of the circuit board it you just look straight through it you can hardly see the resin except for the fact that it catches the light if it didn't catch the light you wouldn't even be able to tell at all really super neat pen it's got an awesome look to it Really happy with how this turned out. Really cool. I'm have to do some more of those in the future. Maybe that'll be something I, I hold on my Etsy store. I'll put the the circuit boards on, and then you just select what kind of Sierra pen you want with it. Go from there. I think it'll be fun.